G'day folks and uh, welcome to Gourmet Shed. Well we're doing something totally different today and uh, it's in behind me here so we, we might go in and have a look and see what's going on. Just open the door and away we go. This is another interest I have and I'll just take the cover off to show you. And uh, it's a little MGB from uh, 1969. It's a Mark II, and uh, we'll just put the cover aside here. It's a Mark II. It's um, a four-speed manual, and it's got electric overdrive. Uh, it's an 1800cc engine, and um, it came to me in this condition, and it's been pretty well looked after. So what we'll do is we'll. Uh, Start it up, warm it up, and uh, take the roof off, and then we'll take it out for a run and see how she goes. Right, folks, here we go. This is just a short run around the local area. This little car needs to be started up every now and again to, uh, to uh, keep the battery charged so I try and start it once a week even if it's only to uh, take it out in the local area here and give it a good run for a while. I hope the wind noise is not too bad on the camera because you, get, you do get buffeted in these uh, open cars like this. Folks, it's uh, not a bad place to give this thing a bit of a run. Probably more so on the weekend. This is a weekday, so uh, there's trucks galore around here at the moment. However, you can get an idea of um, how we're going. Yeah, this little car is uh, very lightweight and uh, with an 1800cc motor and the uh, nice little gearbox in it really is quite responsive when you put your foot down. Um, it's, it hasn't got a complete exhaust system on it, it's not a standard exhaust system and it's got uh, twin uh, air filters, sports air filters on it. Uh, so it sounds a bit uh, throaty I suppose would be the, the correct uh, description of it. But I like that. I even suggested to my uh, mechanic that maybe I should have the uh, legal exhaust system on it. He said, no, 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 it's okay. Don't worry about it. Sounds good. The thing is, folks, it's, uh, it's an open car. It's got no heater. It's got no air con. It does have a radio. Uh, it's got disc brakes on the front. They're not power assisted though. Drum brakes on the back. It's now 51 years old. And you think without all those mod cons, it must be a nightmare. But every time I get in this thing and drive it, it's just heaps of fun. It's basic motoring and gets you back to what it was used to be like, you know. Uh, motoring without all the MP3 players and all that sort of stuff going on. Just going past the railway line now. Yeah, so each time I think about selling it, I get in it and drive it and think, nah, nah, too much fun. Here it is, folks. Back home, safe and sound. And uh, needs a bit of a clean, actually. But uh, yeah, most of it's uh, 
life is spent in the shed so it doesn't get too bad but the uh, the wheels and the tires need a bit of a, a going over at the moment so we'll lift up the bar and have a bit of a look at the motor right as I said it's an 1800 cc motor and uh, these old cars don't really like getting stuck in traffic so what I did when I got it is I fitted this uh, electric thermo fan here um, I've just got it switchable from the dashboard and so I turn it on whenever I feel I need it and it saved the bacon a couple of times uh, just by having that in heavy traffic we've got uh, twin SUs and um, they have uh, sports air filters on them that's why it gets that sort of throaty noise when you're in the car. It's not so evident on the video, but um, it's certainly evident when you're driving the car. You may na notice a uh, pretty fancy looking coil over there. Uh, that has been, that's an upgraded coil because uh, I had um, electronic ignition fitted to it. And the electronic ignition on this car actually just looks like uh, the original car because it's built into the uh, distributor. So it just looks like a standard distributor. The only thing you can notice is there's one extra electrical lead coming out of the distributor. This box here is the uh, housing for the uh, heater. However, there was no heater that came with this particular model. It was an extra that you had to uh, pay for. And this particular vehicle's got a uh, an alloy rocker cover, the uh, standard um, metal um, tin one. Um, is in the spares box that this came with the car. The dashboard is fairly standard. We've got our um, speedometer on the left there in miles an hour. So it's interesting when you're driving around in uh, a country that uh, works in kilometres per hour. But uh, you get used to that. And uh, over on the right we've got a taco. And on the right hand side a fuel gauge. The uh, funny looking switch here that's for the electric overdrive. You Flick that down when you get to about uh, 40 miles an hour or 70 kilometers an hour and that automatically engages and uh, you'll hear the revs drop when, when you kick that in. And this is the uh, switch I fitted for the thermo fan. And um, the radio had been replaced, that's a non-standard radio. And of course over here we've got the oil pressure and temperature gauge, combination gauge. That's uh, a manual choke. You pull that out and you twist it to lock it on that's for starting the vehicle and uh, windscreen wiper switches and fan switches etc and uh, all the heater switches and demister which uh, don't actually work uh, it's got a lockable glove box on it and over here we've got a map light and it's got the standard um, four on the floor and as I said it's quite a nice little shift and uh, two bucket seats Throw it into reverse gear brakes, you've got to slap it over and bring it back. And then away we go.